Hey guys, my name is Walter Teal and I'm the creator of the Monster Scooter. So the idea from the Monster Scooter came when I was in Austin, Texas with some friends. I tried those famous bird scooters and the experience was incredible. And at that time I was getting introduced into the DIY movement. I was spending a lot of time on YouTube learning how to do things and stuff. And then I decided to go and do a scooter for myself. And when I started doing this scooter, I figured that it could be a really good project for other people to also learn how to do DIY projects. So the design concept for the Monster Scooter was to make it easy to build and make all the parts sourceable from within any town or online. So I wanted to build a scooter that looked like this, which is the electric rover, one of the best scooters, but it's also around $6,000, and this one. So you get the idea. So let's take a look at the scooter itself. For the structure of the scooter, I tried to keep it as simple as possible. Now this came through a couple of iterations, but I used uh, just steel, steel plates, uh, profiles, steel profiles, some pipe, uh, steel pipe with some bearings for the axles. And uh, yeah, just all over around, you know, it's a pretty simple design. I welded using a MIG welder, which is like a, pretty much like a hot glue gun for, for welding. And yeah, so, you know, as you can see, it's pretty simple. So that was the goal of the scooter, to keep it all simple, to, to make it easy to work. So let's take the lid and take a look. So this is the battery pack. Uh, this contains 78 18650 lithium ion batteries, which are the most popular batteries for DIY products. Now I put them out in a little toolbox because they're easy to, to fetch and I can just lift it without touching the batteries. So as you can see, there's 13 series of six batteries in parallel summing up to 48 volts and 20 amps of continuous current. So this pops out almost 1,000 watts. Now, the total battery cost was around $262 for the batteries, which comes out to about $330 per battery. And then the BMS, which is adequate to this battery, costs around $22. So the next part of the scooter is the speed controller, which with the throttle, which is up there, is around $92. Now if you look, I connected everything, kind of looks a little bit complex, but there are not that many connections. If you can see right here then, um, we have the little switch for the engine. We have also a switch for the battery to shut it off, and then a charger to easily connect the battery and charge up the batteries uh, with the wall charger. Now the wall charger is right here. This was around $26 in Alibaba. Now for the motor, I used an old Volkswagen generator they were pretty popular back in the age. Um, they came before the alternators, but they're of the same kind. And this cost me about 45 bucks. I turned it into a motor very easily with two connections. Um, so they wor it works, it works pretty well. The wheels and the disc brakes together were, were around 40 bucks. And uh, yeah, we have a disc brake, we have two wheels, one front and one back and the sprocket that moves uh, the wheel in the back. So this is a throttle, as I mentioned before, it connects to the speed controller and it comes with a battery indicator to give you the, the battery life that you have remaining. And finally, this is the brake. This pulls the brake down to the disc brake and the, the back wheel and makes it stop. So in general, this scooter can go over 30 kilometers an hour with the current version and it could also have around 30 kilometers of range. And let's take it for a spin. So you know, I'm not an engineer, I'm just a regular guy who loves making stuff, loves inventing. And the reason why I built this and why I, I'm doing a Kickstarter campaign is because I want to build another one. And the next one that I build, the version 2, is going to be a little bit simpler, lighter, more powerful and easier to build than this one. It'll look very similar, but it'll have some improvements. Now when I build this scooter, and this is why I'm raising money through this campaign, is because I want to do instructional videos on every single part, how to use every single tool, 
all the measurements, but most importantly, purchase links for all the materials and also purchase links for all the tools that I've used. And you know, when, when, I, when I started doing this, I learned a lot. I learned how to weld. In the first day, I was already throwing a couple of lines of weld and putting some pieces together. And it became a very, very instructional experience. And I want to share that with you. So thank you for your support. And I hope you buy one of the perks from below. Thank you very much.